Well, I've been out shopping today, so let's have a look at what I brought and the reasons why I brought them and get them fitted and tested. So the other night I'm sat here and I have those LED strip lights under my gunnels. I've got three types, there's one to the rear, there's one on this side, there's one on that side. The one on that side uh, stopped working at Christmas because I pulled the wire and snapped it in half so I broke it. The one that was here, it's, you can't see it, the wires are still here. The strip lights are still there I didn't remove them because I wanted to video it that's why I didn't remove them but they just went off the other night and I thought these lights come with this this is the new one they come with one of these like transformer boxes that also has the remote sensor on it it has the power for the actual strip light and the power in but I thought that's what I'd gone on it. So, in my infinite wisdom, I thought I'll bypass it. Stripped all the wires, there's only four wires. Connected them all and tried it again. Totally dead, didn't work. So, <laughs> I went to the shop. I went to a few shops, which I, I normally go to, and they've always got these LED strip lights in them. But, because I wanted them, there weren't none to be seen. Anyway, a week later, I've gone back to the shops and they've got them in. So, let me show you exactly what I brought because I brought two different types. Okay, this is the first type and it comes with a little remote. It's a five metre LED spool on here. And it says LED controller output 4.5 to 5 volts. I'll just show you that. It's got a bit of a... That's obviously the connector there. And I suppose this acts as one of these. But it's smaller and there's your little sensor on the end. This one was from Aldo. It costs £13. You've got a little USB connector, so it'd be good if I mean when I when I changed all the plugs on the boat, I put the USB type in. So two 240 volt plugs plus two USBs, and that's on uh, most of the plugs, not all of them, most of them. But you can always use one of the plug adapters or you could use a battery bank, mine's up there so I can't show it yet. You could also use a little um, laptop, anything like that. So that's that type. £13 from Aldo. So the second type was this one. Now in all fairness, straight off the bat, you can see this LED is a hell of a lot thicker than this one. Let me show you as a comparison. This one is a lot thicker than that one. It's thicker and also it, it, look, it feels more robust. They're both five meters, remember, look at the size of that. And the weight difference, there's a big weight difference in it. But anyway, this one's an energizer type. Let me, no, I'm not going to undo that yet. And it comes with the remote yet again. As you can see, it's got energizer on it. You've got your instructions. Oh, sorry, I should have mentioned that one also has the instructions with it. But also, the Aldi one come with these little connectors which have got little screws in them. It's got these little backing plates on them and I suppose the way they work is it clips into that part. So I'm not going to use them because it all has this 3M tape, supposedly 3M tape on them which won't come off. 
I'm not going to use these because all I'm going to do is attach them via the tape and see if it actually holds because my experience with these things is they never ever hold and you end up using connectors of one type or another there's different types that you get so I'm not using them the energizer one that's the power supply three pin plug it's got a little on off switch right there and that's your little jack which goes into that so that's all that I mean I don't really need to show you this infrared RGB controller energizer uh, it's a 12 volt uh, maximum 2 amps for the LED so you could run that off your 12 volt, volt boat system no problem at all if you want it to right then my slippers well they're not slippers they're flip flops every time or almost every time I get on or off the boat at the stern my, one of them always ends up in the canal and, and I can't get my head round why I keep flicking it in the canal but I do so while I was out yesterday I got these let me show you them they've got a little bite thing that goes at the back of your feet I mean I, I ain't got a bloody clue what they're called a strap I suppose I don't know but I wanted something that wasn't that expensive because if they were crap you're not spending that much money they've obviously got to be non-slip because I'll be going on the gunnels on the roof etc I wanted to try them out these are from Poundland they only cost a pound uh, no, they never cost a pound at all. They were from Poundland. They cost me three pound. <laughs> right then. So, I want to get these fitted. I want to test out the new shoes. So, let's uh, make a start. they're not slipping they're good on the metal surface so this is a thumbs up for me for this one I've not tested them in the rain I will test them in the rain but as it's not raining today I can't so I'll let you know in the comments just uh, how they fare in the wet weather but I think they'll be alright to be fair but I'm just guessing at this point I've removed two loads of the DVDs that I wasn't using I don't really use the DVDs all that much to be honest it's just something that I've collected over the years and did use them but I don't want to get rid of them for the simple reason you get bugger all for them so you might as well just keep them but there you go anyway the LED strip is under this gunnel right here so, see if we can get it off. And by removing the shelf and that, it's made it a hell of a lot easier. So, this is the old one that don't work <laughs> right that's that that's that so yeah I mean it doesn't look like an expensive type I can't remember where I got this from but it's one of those really thin ones so I've had almost two years out of it so I ain't done too bad and I think this would have cost about eight or nine pound a couple of years ago. It's not much. 
And the, the thing is, I've got the lights on the boat and when I come in, in the boat, I always put the lights on so you can see better, you can get a few things done. But of an evening time, I don't like the lights on. I like the LED strips on. It gives enough light and it looks nice. You can change it, etc. You can have a disco on the boat and all that business. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I like them. And I just have a solid colour, like a light blue or even white. You know, it all depends, but... I think they're, they're good to have, personally. Right, this end here, you've got to remember where you're having it connected now. That end of the boat is where my plugs are. It's going down there. This end of the boat, there's a 12 volt light over there, but there's no way I'm, I'm running wires and that on that side. I'm, I'm not doing that. So, basically, I've got to start, and yeah, it is a 3M tape. Let me see if I can, can you see the 3M on there? So yeah, I'm gonna start at this end and work my way. Okay then. I wanna basically come all the way to the end down here. So, I'm gonna reel off quite a bit of this spool, and I'm gonna leave it over there. I know you can't see it, but I just want to get this started off here. But also, what I'm going to do is, because I'm just trying to get this tape off here, as you can see. And it don't want to come off. Which, to me, is a good sign. Right, we've started that off there. Before I do anything and stick that on there, I'm going to attach this first. So I'll take off the blocker, which is a safety one on the end, and I'm going to fit these on here. Now, is there an arrow on there? The, I don't know if you can see that. There's an arrow right here but there's also one on that side and they're both pointing to this top pin here. So we're gonna line that up with, let, let me do it so you can see it a bit better. Okay, that's gone in quite nicely. I'm gonna peel off a bit of the tape and we're gonna make a little start on this. I'm going to peel it as I go along. So I'm just sticking that bit at a time. Carrying on down under the gunnel. I'm going to reel a bit more of this out. Now I've got I've got this wire here which feeds into the back of the TV so while I'm here now I'm going to put that around it so it don't come into contact with it you know miss it out type of thing so I'm just planning ahead here now generally I cut these end parts off but I wanted to try it just on top there just to see what it looks like because I can cut it off if I don't like it I just thought because I had that extra bit of length I'd give it a try right I'm going to go all the way along it and press it down like I said to try and give it that little bit of an extra bond. This part, my plug socket is right there. Now, can't use a USB with this, it's a three pin plug. So, 
what I want to do is I want to loosen off a bit of the wire because it's only got to reach from there to there so that's enough wire I'm going to use this and reattach it like so get the booze over there plug this in right that's that done I'm going to make sure it's turned it's turned on because I'm going to control it from the remote but of course if it isn't turned on I can't do that oh. and all it does that adapter plugs into this like so now with this you could put it on the wall if you wanted to because it's got two little holes at the top and bottom that you could put a screw in but I don't need to do that because like I said the last one fitted perfectly behind this panel here and so is this one that's fitted perfectly behind the panel you cannot see that all you can see is that little wire sticking out so stick the booms right. back it's exactly the same for this side I'm gonna move a bit of gear um, and then we'll get it under the gunnel over here I think I've managed to snap my blinding off <laughs> Now the thing with this one is the gunnel ends here but the plug is over there so what's that that's an extra two foot that is so I'm gonna see how long this is oh look at that that's loads that is let's see if it all go to the plug oh god yeah yeah absolutely loads of room there right then all I'm doing is sticking it under the gunnel just like the other one you see can't really position the camera in a better spot at the moment so we're going to have to just crack on and uh, do as best as we can with it I think it ran like I've done on the fire I think I might because if I don't like it I can always change it well I can remove it don't know if I like that <laughs> at some point I might cut it off up there and just remove it I'll see how I feel but let's uh, plug it into the battery pack and as you can see it has lit up straight away Let's give the old remote a go same with this one got the little plastic thing right there so let's firstly turn it up that's its high setting I know that it's daytime so you're not going to get it we've got red green blue various shades coming into that so at least we know it's working you're not going to get the full effect until it's evening time and you've got the darkness of the boat with the light so it's eight o'clock on the night it's not pitch black but it's dark enough to show you just how the lights i mean they're not for everybody I like them and it saves having the lights up there on all the time you know I mean I've got them up and down the boat 
these LEDs and let me right I'll do it on this side so you might see it a, a little bit better I mean you can go dimmer and lighter with them let's run through some of the colours some I like, some I don't like, you know, you just got to have a little play with them, see which ones you do and don't like. They're quite good, I mean, they'd be good for a kid's room as well, I suppose. I like having them on, dimming and all that lot, if I'm having a drink, listening to a bit of music. But yeah, I quite like them. The opposite side works just the same I'm not going to uh, mess with them there's no point uh, showing you the different colours because they're pretty much exactly the same as the opposite side so yeah hope it helps you if you're thinking of getting some and fitting them extremely easy to do you know what was it an hour in total and most of that is moving all the bits and bobs and you know taking the blinds up and all that lot the actual work probably takes 15 minutes you know but yeah quite pleased with them and it might uh, give you a few ideas I mean I have the kitchen lights on of an evening and of course the lights down at the bottom of the boat they're just exactly the same as the ones up here you know but it's like ambient lighting it just gives a bit of light to the room without having the actual lights on so yeah i'll leave it there folks hope you enjoyed that one and if you did catch you in the next episode of narrowboat florence rose so bye for now